This rap battle is about to get underway. A rivalry that's been bubbling between two superstar MCs is just about to erupt. What's the opening move? Oh, and out of the gate, Drake used Substitute by waving the AI puppets of West Coast Legends dead and alive to taunt the opposing rapper. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, this is absolutely astonishing. Kendrick, we need ya, the West Coast savior. Ain't great in your name and some hip-hop history. Yes, yo, what the fuck you really got to do? He passed you the torch at the House of Blues. Oh, and he tried to foresee a future diss by trying to undermine the validity of rumors that he picks up girls that are a little too young for him. Call him a bitch for me. Talk about him liking young girls, that's a kid for me. Heard it on the button podcast, it's gotta be true. But it's not very effective. Very first time I shot me a Drake, the homie had told me to aim it this way. I didn't point down enough. Today I show you I learned from those mistakes. Oh God, I'm ready to double the wage. I'd rather do that than let a Canadian nickel make Pac turn in his grave. And Kendrick bats the substitutes away with his hyper voice. The next one is really about to bring out the coward in you. But now we gotta wait a fucking week. Cause Taylor Swift is your new top. And if you about to drop, she gotta approve. Now Drake kicks up a sandstorm of rumors that Kendrick is afraid to drop a track when Taylor Swift's album drops, taunting him about his name not being big enough to compete with her streams. This girl really about to make you act like you not in a feud. It's doing minimal damage, but it serves its purpose of getting the crowd to leer at Kendrick for the response, putting time against him in a live battle. How are you not in the booth? It feel like you kind of removed. You trying to let this shit die down. Nah, nah, nah. Not this time, nigga. You following through. I guess you need another week to figure out how to improve. What the fuck is taking so long? We waiting on you. Oh, Oh no, but he overplayed his hand and accidentally confessed that it's Drake who's worried about streaming sales. Yeah, shout out to Taylor Swift. Biggest gangster in the music game right now. You know, I moved my album when she dropped. I said that already. Displaying a bit of unintentional projection on his part and kind of sounding like a Taylor Swift fanboy, which isn't helping in a rap battle that's essentially about proving that you're cooler than the other person. You're moving just like a degenerate. Heavy antique is feeling distasteful. Why calculate you're not as calculated. I can even predict your angle. Oh, but Kendrick uses detect. Letting Drake know that he's aware of his manipulative tactics and is able to predict what they'll be. I know you're a master manipulator and a habitual liar too. But don't tell no lie about me. And I won't tell truths about you. Oh, and then he uses a trick room beat switch to hype up his energy. It's not nobody can tell me. I don't want to talk on no celly. You know I got language barriers. It's no accent you can sell me. Following it up by insulting Drake's weak accents and watered down Jamaican dance all copycat beats. I hate the way that you walk, the way that you talk. I hate the way that you dress. I hate the way that you sneak this. If I catch flight, it's going to be direct. Oh, oh, and calling out Drake's sneak dissing tendencies, disabling his ability to skip out on the battle while using sneak disses to to avoid having to go bar for bar on a direct track. We hate the bitches you fuck cause they confuse themselves with real women then notice I said we, it's not just me, I'm what the culture feeling. The opponent used beat up, laying out how his attacks are actually on behalf of the general audience and what they've noticed about Drake's flaws as an artist and as a human being. How many more fairy tale stories about your life till we had enough? How many more black features till you finally feel that you're black enough? These scouring insults hurt. Yeah, my first one, like my last one, it's a classic, you don't have one, let your core audience Stomach that didn't tell him where you get your abs from. A powerful dual chop attack, pointing out how Drake doesn't have any unblemished classics to speak of, plus digging in on how the superstar has apparently been using cosmetic surgery to attain his image. Numbers wise, I'm out of here, you're not fucking creeping up. Money wise, I'm out of here, you're not fucking sneaking up. Corn by your show money, merch money feed us. But it looks like Drake restored its ego with money and streaming popularity comparisons. For your last one, Brick, you really not on shit. They make excuses for you because they hate to see me lit. Ooh, that hit perfectly. Framing the underdog status of Kendrick as nothing more than contrarian hype against the one who's really on top. Extortion, baby, hope for red, you've been Shook up, cause top told you drop and give me 50 likes a push up. And a fierce follow up, ripping on the idea that Kendrick still needs to pay his previous label half his earnings whenever he drops a new project. But wait, Kendrick uses magic room and switches the beat once again. Headshot for the year, you better walk around like Daft Punk. Remember? A hey, top dog, who the fuck they think they playing with? And gets revenge on Drake's claims of splitting royalty payments with his own call out. Let's speak on percentage. Show me your splits. I'll make sure I double back with you. You assigned to a nigga that signed to a nigga that said he was signed to that nigga. Drake tries to even out the playing field, though, by, well, belittling his opponent. You won't never take no chain off of us. How the fuck you be stepping with a size seven man zone? But that was a glancing blow. Pip squeak, pipe down. You ain't in no big three. Scissor got you wiped down. Travis got you wiped down. Savage got you wipe down like your label boy you in a scope right now he then tries to put things in perspective by pointing out that other rappers like future and rick ross are also going at him so he has no choice but to defend his throne what the fuck is this a 20v1 nigga? 
but Kendrick does a payback move and returns the energy at him twofold. Ain't 20 v1, it's 1 v20 if I gotta smack niggas that right with you. Oh, calling out Drake's ghostwriting on top of the nefarious use of AI to make his diss track. Am I battling ghosts or AI? Nigga feeling like Joe Hell Austin. Funny he was in a film called AI. And my sixth sense telling me to off him. Oops, but he trips and does an awkward thing where he seems to be mixing up Joel Osteen the preacher with Haley Joel Osmond the child actor who was in AI in the sixth sense. So like you could maybe get the ghost thing but the AI bit doesn't really connect. Maybe if he made a more direct verbal twist there to make Joel Osteen and Haley Joel Osmond's names connect it would have been a more clean line but I guess he must have used swagger on himself so it must have caused some confusion while upping his attack stack. Drake tries to take advantage though with a couple of hits to Kendrick's credibility. Better do that motherfucking show inside the bitty. Maroon 5 need a verse you better make it witty. Ripping on how Kendrick has also done a couple pop song rap verses to stack some chips himself. I can't take it back, look where I'm at. No more please stop, no more hashtag booed up screenshot. 401k, k make sure it's low risk. But Kendrick pulls the trump card and goes right for the family drama. Why would I call around trying to get turtle on niggas? Y'all thinking my life is rap? That's whole shit, I got a son to raise. But I can see you don't know nothing about that. Oh no, digging into how Drake hit his kid and showing himself as a true family man by comparison. Waking them up, no nothing about that. And tell them to pray, no nothing about that. And giving them tools to walk through life like day by day, no nothing about that. Oh, drill the weak spot. The foe is weak. There's a distinct difference between the remaining credibility of both MCs. But will this do it? I even hate when you say the word nigga, but that's just me, I guess. Some shit just cringeworthy. You ain't even gotta be deep, I guess. Ooh, that did some damage. Wrapping things up with an attack on the biracial pop star's perceived discomfort with his blackness, calling out his overcompensation and how awkward it comes off as. We don't wanna hear you say nigga no more. We don't wanna hear you say nigga no more. Stop. That was brutal! Whoever that's fucking with them, fuck you niggas and fuck the industry too. If you take it there, I'm taking it further. Psst, there's something you don't wanna do. He then ends with a future side attack in case the opposing trainer wants further smoke. And when we take a look at the scores, Drake's diss lands 11 out of 65 lines equating to a 17% hit rate. But with Kendrick's 2 in 1 response hitting 17 lines out of 50 with a rate of 34%, his opponent goes down. And there goes the battle. Well, folks, it was an intense battle, but oh, it, it looks like Drake tried to recover for the next battle by dropping his Family Matters Berry track. Also, Bobby, shit, I wanna know what Whitney need. But before it could fully regain HP, oh no, Kendrick saw that he took the bait when he made it personal. He snatched the recovery with his 616 in LA track, revealing that Drake has limited loyalty from his crew, who he's been getting his secrets from. Are you finally ready to play? Have you ever, let's see, have you ever thought that OVO is working for me? Fake bully, I hate bullies. You must be a terrible person. Everyone inside your team is whispering that you deserve it. Oh, oh, and then the future side attack dropped in the form of the Meet the Grams track, where he reveals that Drake is hiding yet another child. Oh, no. Dear baby girl, I'm sorry that your father not active inside your world. And Drake is down for good. How can he recover from that? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I, I mean, the video game has to say he fainted, but I, I don't know if the charred remains of the opponent's ego would agree. What else need be said? Oh, my sweet lord, is Kendrick doing a fucking Z-move dance? Jumping Jesus in a pogo stick, ladies and gentlemen, Kendrick has just dropped a pulverizing pancake of a move with the final track, Not Like Us, where he straight up calls out Drake as a culture vulturing pedo who keeps abuses around him, and the man had receipts. Why you trolling like a bitch? Ain't you tired? Trying to strike a chord, and it's probably a minor. You caught future when you didn't see the club. Like, what? 21, get your first street cred. They up, you feel like you a slime in your head. Like, what? 2 chains say you good, but he lied. You run to Atlanta when you need a few. Dollars, no, you're not a colleague, you're a fucking colonizer. Oh, the humanity! Folks, uh, Kendrick just made this man see infinity, and I, I don't know if there's any coming back. Good lord almighty. Well, I guess that's all there is to see here. Uh, we're gonna have to, like, clean up the arena of the shadow of ashes where his opponents once stood, but folks, l l let's get the fuck up out of here before someone else pisses Kendrick off. But if you like the video, leave a like if you like because it helps. Comment if you have something to say because it helps even more. And hit the subscribe and the bell because that's what helps the most. And if you want to support the show, of course, that's ko-fi.com slash rapcritic for one-time donations and patreon.com slash rapcritic for ongoing donations where you can see episodes early and join in on the RC Discord to chat with me and fellow fans. So until next time, I'm the Rap Critic, saying, hey, all beef should be squashed, but if you're gonna come at someone, you better make sure your ass comes correct.